Hi everybody, this is CT Readings and hi Pisces. Let's see what messages are going to show up for you guys. What do we have for Pisces? <clears throat> Let's have a look. What do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs? In case this reading resonates, there will be a link in the description box to the extended. Unknown territory, you're exactly where you need to be and staying focused, hold on, sorry, hold the course. Embracing enthusiasm at the bottom of the deck with surrendering to the journey. Okay, so for a lot of you Pisces, what I'm seeing here is that you're very unsure about where your life is taking you, okay? For some of you, I'm also getting that these days you have an eye for like, what's going to happen next for me okay so to me it looks like you're walking down a path but there's a lot of like um unsurety in regards to what am i doing and what i'm doing is it really worth it where i'm gonna end up this that and the other okay so we will see though you're exactly where you need to be. That means that you may not be seeing things unfold in a certain way in the present moment, but that does not mean that things are going to stay like that. It is also saying for you to stay focused because things are about to change, okay? Deception. Someone's wearing a false self mask in this relationship. We have, um, okay. There is somebody, Pisces, you're connecting with in love who doesn't show their true feelings. Okay. And I clarify for your person, your new person, your past person, further messages from spirit more in, in depth in the extended. So you can have a look if you're interested. Okay, so we have honeymoon and healing family issues. A lot of you may be distancing yourself from somebody because you feel like they're very immature. Um, <clears throat> I'm also seeing that for some of you, this is a long distance relationship, Pisces. There's somebody who lives at a distance from you. Give me one more on this. I'm kind of getting that there's somebody, Pisces, who may be having a crush on you, but they're not admitting it. They're not admitting it. <clears throat> Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So for a lot of you, what I'm seeing here is that there is somebody I see you connecting with with whom you have a very strong connection. But I'm also getting that this person at this time is at a distance. They're not speaking to you. They're not talking to you. Um, I feel like Pisces, some of you are have been betrayed by somebody in love. Some of you feel like you've been betrayed by somebody. And it hurts you. So when it comes to love, you may be distancing yourself, okay? Because you may feel like the other person betrayed you or betrayed your trust, okay? Show me more for Pisces, please. Give me the overall energy for Pisces. Give me the overall energy. Judgment reverse. Oh, Pisces, you're at crossroads when it comes to somebody. I feel like you have love for them, but you're withholding your love from this person. You're resisting your feelings because a part of the reason is because you feel like you're going to get disappointed even if you open up. A lot of you have really thought about ending a cycle with somebody because it got very toxic and very consuming for you. I do feel like you're very determined to not give somebody a second chance or 
not even give it a second thought, but at the same time, you kind of have your emotions wrapped up in the situation, Pisces. Right now, I see you feeling very discontent with where you are. Mm. See, you're resisting something, Seven of Wands. Two of Swords, you're ignoring somebody, Pisces, okay? For some of you, you feel like, okay, I feel like recently there was a conversation or there's something that happened that was very revealing, okay? And a lot of you may also feel like you already know the truth about this person or this connection, okay? With the Five of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, and the Two of Swords energy here, I'm also getting Pisces that... You're resisting something, aren't you? You're ignoring this person because you feel like you you are being pulled in many different directions. And I kind of feel like it's not just because of one person. It could be a theme in your life where some of you have been feeling all over the place lately. It's, it's like there's this urge to release unnecessary burden and chaos in your life. Because I keep getting that you're tired of wasting your time on people, on situations. You feel like you over-invest emotionally and then you have to have your guard up. Show me more, please. Queen of Swords reverse. Oh my God. With the Six of Wands energy. So for a lot of you Pisces, what I'm really seeing here is that you're showing emotional maturity towards somebody, but at the same time, you may be feeling a little bit bitter towards somebody. You may be cutting somebody out and you feel like you don't owe them any explanation. Yes, you have love for them, but you're mad at them over something. I feel like for some of you Pisces, you may even feel like this is a false start or this is a relationship that starts and ends really fast, okay? Another thing that I'm getting here is that this is somebody who you feel like is very selfish, okay? Or they're not capable of giving you the relationship that you want. Because it's like there's a realization that somebody's not really capable of giving you what you want. A lot of you are trying to prioritize your own happiness now with the Nine of Cups. You're cutting certain people out of your life, whether that be friends or lover, okay? You don't care. You're cutting them out and you're cutting them out for good. I can see Pisces, you're ignoring somebody. You're ignoring somebody. It's like you're not even giving it a thought kind of an energy that I'm picking up on. <clears throat> Show me their person's energy. Show me Pisces person. Show me their person's energy. Show me the person Pisces is connecting with or will be connecting with. Chariot. This person could be a Cancer. Oh, Four of Cups. Pisces, they know that they've let you down. But with the Chariot energy, they, they want to pursue this still. Show me more. Nine of Swords. Oh my God, they're in their head about you. Oh, I feel like this is somebody, Pisces, who tried to walk away from you, but they failed at it. Uh, Eight of Cups and the Ace of Cups. This is somebody who tried to withdraw from the situation. They tried to let go of you, but they failed. It's like they couldn't make it happen or they couldn't sustain that, okay? They wanted to get their mind off of you, but they couldn't do so. That's the thing. 
that's the thing because it's like they've been thinking about you a ton and Ace the Cups tells me that they're wanting a new beginning with you or some form of a new start, okay? Ace of Cups, Eight of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Hierophant. I will clarify this though. What is the outcome of the reading for Pisces? Three of Cups. Oh, Four of Wands. What is the outcome of the reading? Ace of Cups. Ooh. Ooh, King of Cups, Four of Wands, Pisces. All right, Pisces, there is somebody who's who's wanting to make peace with you. King of Cups energy tells me that there's a lot of love between you and somebody. And this is a divine counterpart because you're the Queen of Cups, they're the King of Cups. So I don't know if this is the same person you're avoiding. Why am I getting intuitively that these are two different people? A person who you're not that interested in and then a person who is somebody else. Four of Wands energy, Three of Cups. There's a celebration or a union of some sort here in the future. And Ace of Cups tells me you're going to be really enjoying it. This could also be some form of a new beginning. Show me the advice for Pisces. Page of Pentacles. Pisces, at times you're just at conflict with your own self. And yes, you are a very intuitive sign, but I feel like you ignore your intuition at times because you want to put your trust in people and then you just get distracted. So yes, you know that you're moving forward from something, but you're not entirely sure where it is leading you. And to me, it looks like you're connecting with possibly a new person. Somebody you're going to have a great bond with. Page of Pentacles is like opening up to the new. Okay. This is a fresh energy. This is something that you invest in that has the potential of growth. Four of Wands. Yes, Pisces. What I'm seeing here is that like spirit is trying to shift your focus towards what's working out in your life a lot of you also need to put more focus on your money on your goals on your long-term goals especially and not limit yourself because i feel like what happened with this person is that this person changed your energy a lot okay show me what's there for pisces What's the Five of Pentacles in the reverse? Nine of Pentacles. Give me one more. Pisces, it does look like there was love in the past, but it, it just looks like a situation that would be on and off, on and off, on and off. Some of you may have felt like, yes, there was love or the connection was fine, but you may have felt like this person w was wasting your time. What's the seven of wands? Oh, oh, five of wands. A lot of you are feeling very overwhelmed when it comes to your emotions. So you're kind of like just putting it at a rest, okay? You're withdrawing from love and it's like you're withdrawing or not saying anything because you're avoiding conflict. It's like something you feel like if, if you open this, this door, it's, it's not going to be of any use. What to expect in the future for Pisces? Give me a card. Six of Pentacles. I feel like Pisces, things are getting balanced out in your life one day at a time. And honestly, you may not be seeing things coming your way just like that, but it doesn't mean that they're not happening for you. Show me what is this person up to? Oh God, Pisces, your past person kind of has regrets, but they're not showing it. This is somebody who has love for you, but they're kind of like brushing it under the rug. What has happened between you and them, Pisces? 
nine of swords five of cups there is somebody who has so many regrets and they're just not liking how the situation is turning out between you two they feel like the damage has been done and you will reject them this is somebody who's fearful of rejection is this is this ace of cups a new person or a past person for pisces I feel like this person's gonna try to make amends with you, Pisces. They're gonna try to get your attention again. But by the way, there is somebody around you, like in your friend circle, or I don't know who this is, they also have their eyes on you. This is almost looking like somebody has a crush on you, kind of a vibe. But as far as this person's concerned, they're also gonna try to make amends. This is somebody who knows that they effed it up with you. Where should Pisces focus on, please? Ace of Swords, clarity, truth, determination. Pisces, you have the ability to make the decision for yourself and not anybody else. Remember that. Whatever your mind is telling you, whatever direction you are planning to go towards, do it. Do what best serves you at this present moment. And the rest I am going to clarify in the extended for your person, your past person, your new person, for those not interested in the past. Where is it going? And general messages from spirit. What about your finances? So do check it out. It'll be linked below for you, okay? Show me what's there for Pisces off and see so there has been something here that came to an end ending bringing new beginnings growth change liberation something here is definitely coming to an end but for some of you if there was something toxic that came to an end it was a very liberating experience i love you mm, somebody might confess their love for you soon engagement ring and you also have the love call so Pisces, there is somebody coming. Oh, you also have new new person and mask. So yeah, I kind of feel like there is a hidden new person here who is secretly admiring you. They're not really telling you what they feel about you, but they will come forward. Even though this is a, I kind of feel like it's a mixture of both. It's a new person and a past person both, if I'm gonna be honest with you. It's a clear indicator that there are two different people. This person is also gonna catch your attention, okay? Because when it comes to the past, you're already avoiding your past person, even though they have something to say to you. And this is somebody with a coffin and the I love you energy. This person's like, okay, things happened a certain way between me and Pisces. And it's like, you know, when we walk away from certain people and then they realize our worth, this is that kind of an energy, Pisces. Let's read for you your oracle messages to close off this reading. Unknown territory. Let's see what that is. You are exactly where you need to be, even if you're not consciously aware of it. Even if you don't have all the answers, keep going forward with your heart open. If you cannot see clearly ahead and don't know where you're headed, keep moving forward. Do what feels right, even if your brain doesn't agree. Your heart always knows. Instead of dismay because you are in unknown territory, celebrate that you're expanding and growing by leaps and bounds. Let's see, what do we have for you with staying focused? Hold the course. Be clear about where you are going. Do not compromise. Follow your dreams. You deserve the best. Prioritize your life. Once you decide on a direction, hold the course. Do not veer. Do what's important and release the rest. Place your intent and passion on one thing rather than scattering in many directions and you will be successful. Yes, I could see that Pisces, your attention is a little bit scattered right now. Like things are seeming very unclear for you, but this is a temporary phase. That's why with the Ace of Swords energy, it's like a clear indicator to, it's like you need to eliminate the noise Pisces and you need to get rid of things that confuse you even further. 
because literally it's of no use. Give me a guided message for Pisces. Trust. I accept that my inner voice will guide, always guide me correctly. So for a lot of you, it is important for you to trust your intuition, Pisces. It's important for you to trust yourself. Give me one more. Give me one more. Health. Uh, Pisces, a lot of you also need to take care of your health. Uh, I feel like this is more so about your mental health than anything. Some of you have been overthinking a lot lately and it has also been causing stress for you. Okay, because you've been overthinking about things and stuff like that. Put yourself first, Pisces, and eliminate the noise and the clutter, unnecessary stuff, okay? That's about it, Pisces. Those were the messages that showed up for you. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And your extended is going to be linked in the description box for further clarifications about your new person, past person, where is it going, and what about your finances and general messages that you may need to know. You can also have a look at your soulmate reading linked in the description box. Take care and bye-bye.